Hello viewers, welcome to my channel ITG Olympiads and AP Physics with Amparish. And today I have brought a nice problem from Kruto. It's not a very difficult problem, but still I felt it worth taking up because uh, it's a nice exercise in 3D visualization of resolving forces. So it's an instructive problem and I hope you'll appreciate the problem. So let me, without much ado, straight away get into the problem. So here we have the problem. What's the problem? So this is Kruto 1.88. Okay. So what's the problem? Let's see. Uh, okay. okay. So a resting pencil okay so as you can see the figure this is supposed to be a wedge and there's a pencil which is uh, uh, in equilibrium in an inclined state so let me formally state the problem a hexagonal pencil placed on an inclined plane with slope alpha at right angles to the generatrix now what's a generatrix uh, and <laughs> right obviously this figure is not at right angles so uh, this what does this mean let's try to understand okay so uh, so how is generatrix defined? That is the line of intersection of the plane and the horizontal surface. So here if you uh, draw a horizontal surface like this and you take this inclined plane, so this is called the generatrix, okay? So, uh, okay, Inter line of intersection of the plane and the horizontal surface remains at rest. So what does this part of the statement mean? Uh, at right angles to the generatrix. So this is the generatrix and pencil when we place the pencil like this in this orientation. Uh, are, are you getting? I mean somewhat like this when you when we are putting the pencil somewhat like this then it is at rest or maybe uh, let me show you the figure directly okay so let me just uh, uh, bring in the right figure so so when the pencil is in this orientation as you can see here in this orientation oops uh, let me undo this mm, oh, once again let me add okay so when the pencil is in this orientation as you can see what's happening again and again it's going So this is the uh, orientation when the pencil is at rest. Okay, uh, okay. The same pencil uh, placed parallel to the generatrix rolls down the plane, rolls down the plane. And uh, so what's happening in the second situation when it is parallel to the plane? Something like this is there. So it's given that in first situation it is stable. In this situation the pencil is stable, but in this situation it rolls down the plane. Okay. So these two things are known. Okay. This, uh, okay, uh, determine the angle phi between the axis of the pencil and generatrix of the inclined plane at which pencil is still in equilibrium. So suppose we neither put the pencil like this nor we put the pencil like this but we put it somewhere in between. So we have to tell uh, what's the condition of this angle phi so that pencil remains uh, uh, in that equilibrium. It neither slips nor rolls. So what's the condition on phi? Okay, so if you want you can uh, try out the problem on your own and I'll get into my analysis right away. Okay, so let's see. So, uh, according to the question, there is no slipping in the, this shown orientation. So, if there is no slipping, obviously, you know that the angle must be less than the angle of repose, right? So, the angle of repose is the angle at which the slipping starts, okay? So, we can say that mu must be greater than tan alpha. So, that is straightforward theory, standard theory of angle of repose. So, this much we can say, okay? Now, in this orientation, uh, now, th in the second case, so, this is the second orientation, in this orientation, pure rolling is happening. So let's look at the free body diagram. So what's happening? There is a mg acting downward and it has a component mg sin alpha in this direction and there's a component mg cos alpha in this direction. Now for uh, rolling to happen, so obviously the torque of mg sin alpha uh, about the this line, let us say this, we call it pp dash line. So about this line about which the hexagon will tip. So this torque must be greater than the torque due to mg cos alpha, okay? So, and what are the distances? See, if this, uh, if you uh, see in the side view, the perpendicular distance, this must be equal to what? A root 3 by 2, right? Because this much is A, so, and this angle is 30 degrees. So, the arm of mg sin alpha is A root 3 by 2. And arm of mg cos alpha about pp dash is A by 2, okay? So, mg sin alpha into root 3 by 2A must be greater than mg cos alpha into A by 2, right? So that gives us tan alpha is greater than 1 by root 3, okay? Now, let's uh, come to the current problem. Uh, I mean, uh, the current, this actual situation, uh, the actual figure, okay? So, in this situation, clearly one can see that there cannot be any slipping along the directions 1 or 2. So, this is the direction 1. Obviously, this line is the line of greatest slope. And obviously, so this is less than the line of greatest slope. So, there cannot be slipping in this direction. And similarly, there, there cannot be slipping in direction 2. 
or for that matter any direction in between will be less steeper than the direction 3 which is the line of greatest slope. So uh, even at the line of greatest slope no slipping was happening as we saw in the case 1. So therefore there is no question of slipping happening here right. Now uh, we also need to prevent rolling in this situation. What is possible is that it might roll in the direction 1 uh, and we want to prevent that ok. So let us see the fine uh, this condition how to proceed with this. So now let us find the condition to prevent rolling with the last figure. So here if you see so uh, mg is acting vertically down and mg has a component in this direction that is mg sin alpha and perpendicular plane there is mg cos alpha. Now this mg sin alpha can be further divided. See this angle is phi. So this mg sin alpha will have a component in this direction along the edge pp dash this component will be mg sin alpha into sin phi. Why? Because this angle is phi and this angle is therefore 90 minus phi. So mg sin alpha sin phi is this component which uh, is trying to uh, make the pencil slip along its axis and the other component which is uh, helping it roll is this component. So what about this component? So this component will be uh, I mean it's supposed to be uh, so this is mg sin alpha so in this direction it is mg sin alpha cos alpha ok. So uh, it should be like this so I should have show, shown it like this but I hope you understand what's happening here ok. And there is mg cos alpha that is perpendicular to this page. So it will be better uh, seen in the side view. So if I am directly looking at this hexagon, so what do these forces look like? So I see one mg sin alpha cos phi and this uh, edge is pp dash and there is mg cos alpha. Now once again the torque about the edge pp dash, about this edge the torque of mg sin alpha cos phi must be greater than the torque of rather we want to prevent slipping so the torque of mg cos alpha sin alpha cos phi must be less than the torque of mg cos alpha about the edge pp dash. So let us see so anti clockwise torque about pp dash must be less than the clockwise torque uh, about P, uh, clockwise torque. So mg sin alpha cos phi that is this force ok and what is the perpendicular distance this is the perpendicular distance that is a cos 30 degree. So mg sin alpha cos phi into a cos 30 degree this is the torque trying to tip the pencil this should be less than the torque of mg cos alpha that is mg cos alpha into a sin 30 degree. So this in hexagon all these are equal and this is also equal to a because you can divide into 6 equilateral triangles. So this is also a and this then becomes uh, a cos 30 degree and this is uh, rather this is a cos 30 and this is a sin 30 right. So if you cancel out the suitable terms you cancel out mg on both sides then you cancel out a and then uh, uh, you bring out this cos 30 there that, that becomes tan 30 which is 1 by root 3. So what do you get? Uh, so you get cos phi is less than cot alpha upon root 3. So that's the condition on phi and therefore we can say because you know that cos phi is basically cos is a decreasing function right. So as the angle increases the co uh, cos phi keeps on decreasing. So when you take this as cos inverse over here, here it becomes it should become phi is greater than something right. So phi is greater than cos inverse of cot alpha by root 3. So that's our final answer. So some of you might be thinking what happens if cot, cot alpha is greater than root 3 but uh, according to the given condition in the question that is not possible. Why that is not possible? Because we already showed in equal see uh, we already showed that tan alpha is greater than 1 by root 3 that means what? Cot alpha is less than root 3 ok. So cot alpha is less than root 3 so phi will be defined ok. So uh, that's our final answer and uh, that's my analysis to the problem. Uh, hope you enjoyed the analysis and if you enjoyed this uh, problem please do give a th thumbs up to my video and please share this video as much as possible through WhatsApp, Telegram, Discord or whatever medium you use for networking with fellow students. And most importantly if you are not already subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel because that's what keeps me motivated to do a new video every day. And thanks a lot for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one. And as always God bless you all. Thank you.